Let's see how to install WordPress manually by creating a database and uploading it via FTP. Welcome to the WP Cookhouse channel. My name is Bolaj and thank you for watching this tutorial on how to install your WordPress manually. I wouldn't say this is the easiest method to install your WordPress, but still this is my favorite method after installing hundreds if not thousands of WordPress sites. Because this way installing WordPress manually you can control the whole process. What you're gonna need is basically creating a database which if you have a cPanel as I'm having it right here in Bluehost you can safely follow what I'm doing even if you are not with Bluehost. You need to download then the WordPress installation files here from wordpress.org slash download. I'm gonna include the link below this, this video and then you need to upload your files via FTP. For this you're gonna need an FTP client, my recommendation is FileZilla, which is a completely free FTP client solution. And then is the WordPress famous five minute setup, which is basically only five seconds. Uh, but let's get started. So the first thing is to create your database before you do anything else. So I go ahead and click on databases. You find something like this in your cPanel or even here or, or somewhere here. Just go ahead and click on databases. And what you need is to create a new database. This is the safest way to do it, creating a new database for every WordPress installation. I'm just going to give a name for it, but uh, I'm going to blur it for security reasons. So you just give your database a name, then create, go ahead and click on create database. So your database is created. But then what you need to do is you need to create a user for your database, which you can see here below your uh, database list. And I just go ahead and give the same name to the same name as I use for my database, but you can use another name. Of course, I'm going to blur it here again, and I'm going to use a password, which I basically ask my cPanel to generate a password. So I go ahead and copy this to a safe place so I can use it later. You're gonna need this password later when you install WordPress, so make sure you copy and paste it. So yes, I have copied this password and use password. So it says it's very strong. So I go ahead and click on create user. And there is one more thing left to do is to come here and add this user to the database. So I go ahead and select the user I've just created. And I go ahead and select the database I've just created and I click add and I basically uh, click on all privileges because what we are going to do here is adding our user to our database. This is the user who is going to access every data from the WordPress site. So we need uh, to grant all privileges. So create your database, create your user, add your user to the database with all privileges, make changes and everything's fine. Let's go back our database is created, our user is created, everything is fine. So the next step is to go ahead and download WordPress. This might take a while and once you upload it, you need to unzip it. So first I go ahead and click on save. Then um, I go ahead and open the folder here and then right click and extract all and let me just, I don't really need this and let me just click on extract and this might take a while depending on your computer processing power. My computer is ready so what, we get, what we've got here is a directory called WordPress. This is what we need. Just go ahead and click into it. So what you need to see is some files here. You need to see an index.php uh, a WP config sample.php and three directories WP admin, WP content, and WP includes. This is what you need, and then go ahead and log into your FTP account. Make sure you navigate to the right directory if you are uploading or installing WordPress 
to an add-on domain, then make sure you go to the add-on domain. And here you shouldn't see too many things if uh, it's a new domain. So just go ahead and drag and drop every single file here. So I'm gonna select all by pressing Ctrl A and drag and drop everything here to up upload it via FTP. This might take even minutes or, or 15 minutes or more depending on your internet connection but when you're done uploading all the files you're basically done almost done with installing your WordPress because what you need what you uh, only need as last step is to enter your URL your your WordPress site URL and it will bring up the installation process in my case is wpseo.tips And you should see you should see something like that, and select your language. Uh, hit continue, and you can read this uh, short description. Basically, it tells you to provide your database name, username, and password, which we've copied in the beginning of this video. So I go ahead and hit let's go and the only thing we need is to provide the database name this is the, the the same name what you used for creating your database your database username in my case this is the same and your database password the database host using localhost is almost uh, always uh, good and table pre prefix WP underscore is good. So I just go ahead and copy all these data here. Then hit submit and all the installation is almost ready run the installation and it only takes like five seconds. We are almost done with the installation. What we need to provide the site title. I'm gonna include a link where I have a pretty good explanation on how to set your title in WordPress for, for SEO benefits, but today I'm just going to use WordPress SEO tips. I'm going to provide a username and a password, which obviously I'm going to blur out. Then my email address And you can select if you want to discourage search engines from your site. If it's a development phase, if your site is in, in the development phase, you can go ahead and click uh, this. I usually leave this as is because even if Google comes and discovers my site and there is nothing, it's not a problem. And I go ahead and click install WordPress and it takes literally a couple of seconds because we are done you can go ahead and click on login and use your credentials what you provide what you've just provided click login and you're good to go your wordpress site is installed manually everything is fine if you go ahead and click here it brings up your site of course it's empty with the latest theme which is the 2019 in this case I guess but you are good to go with your WordPress site you can start selecting your theme adding your plugins and posting and creating pages so thank you for watching this tutorial on how to install WordPress manually I hope it helped if you liked it please press the like button and consider subscribing to the WP Cookhouse channel I upload WordPress search engine optimization, online marketing and consulting videos regularly here. And thank you for watching.